Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kwadas. A double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught us this truth. Blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh Shimi Shah and truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. All right. And um, here in Ohio, they have uh, now passed a law where citizens can open carry a gun without having any training or without having a background check, man. And the other day I was on a delivery, man, and it was this Jake. You know, you know, yeah, he was open carrying a, a gun, man, and um, you could tell that he was, you know, carrying that gun due to the law that they just passed. He wasn't a, a citizen who had already had their CCWs, all right, because you could just tell, man, like, you know, he gave me that look like, nigga, do you see what's on my hip? Like, he was really, you know, proud, man. You know, he had his head to the sky. And he had that I wish a nigga would spirit. You know? And, um, you know, Jake, you know, really shouldn't be trusting in a damn sword, man. With your modern day sword, is a gun, man. You know, Jake shouldn't really be trusting in no damn gun, man. You know, all our trust and faith should be going in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, the God of the Bible, man. The God who is also bringing these calamities. The God who's also sending his son to save and deliver the elect and to also bring down these kingdoms, man. Okay, and um, you know, I got a quick precept. Okay, it says, uh, Psalms 44 and 6. It says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Okay, now I wanted to go into this word save. Okay, because Jake think that that sword can um deliver them, okay, and protect them. Okay, and in all actuality, that's false. And this is why, you know, and we see this on an everyday basis, man, or hear about these type of things where Jake or someone gets gunned down and they have a gun on them, man, and they still perish, okay? But we're gonna go on to save, okay? Strong's H3467, Yasha, Yasha. Okay, it says to save, be saved, delivered, okay? Which we can't save ourselves, we can't deliver ourselves, okay? This is why a deliverer, a deliverer was already set up from the beginning. And that deliverer is Yahweh Shai, man, okay? It says to be liberated, be saved, be delivered, to be saved in battle, be victorious. Okay, a gun would not get you a victory in what's coming, man. And the only way to be victorious is waiting on Yahabah Shimi Shah, man. Okay, but it says to save from moral troubles to, to give victory to. Okay, so your gun won't get you a victory. Your, your gun won't save you, man. Okay, and I want to go to the book of Proverbs. I believe it's 31. Was Proverbs 21. And matter of fact, Proverbs 21 and I believe 31. It says the horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord, man. Okay? So you can prepare yourself all you want for what's to come, man. You can you can gather up all the guns. Okay, you can gather up all the ammunition. You can gather up all the food. Okay. 
you can uh recruit some type of malicious group or gather some type of movement together okay you could prepare all you want to but in order to be safe in that day it has to be a Yahaba Shimmy Awa Shah, man. Okay? And the scriptures say what? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Which means you're supposed to remember the Lord now, man. Okay? You're supposed to call upon Yahaba Shimmy Awa Shah right now, man. Okay? In order to be delivered and protected in the time to come. Okay, but Jake is trusting in uh 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 in carnal ways, man. The scriptures say uh to be carnal minded is death. Okay? But also Yahweh Shimia Shah has given us the things that we need to be sustained or to be comforted or or to be um, a word I'm trying to use in order to be sane in the time to come, man. Okay, and it ain't a damn gun. Okay, not saying if you got a gun, you're going off. Okay, but to trust in it, 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 it it's no, it's no benefits in owning or having one in the time to come, man. Ecclesiastics, hey, you got a lot of Israelite camps out there that's uh, showing off, you know, uh, artillery. As if, you know, that makes them tough. Okay? But the scriptures say what? Ecclesiastics 9 and 18. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroy of much good. The scriptures say that wisdom is better than weapons of war, man. And what is wisdom? Okay, wisdom is applying the scriptures. Okay? Here it is. Wisdom is our blessing. Okay, because hey, we have these precepts to think upon, or we have these precepts to put to use. Okay, while all the while only thing Esau has is his sword, man. And Jake, they wanna they wanna uh, promote Esau's blessing. Okay, they wanna put his blessings to use instead of, instead of the blessing that the Lord have uh, have given us, man. And this ultimately, you know, why Jake is gonna fall, man. Okay, the scriptures say what, man? I'm going to get this in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto your own understanding, man. So we got to trust in Yahweh Shimei Yahweh This thing is going to uh, take divine intervention, okay? All right, to get us up out of here. Okay, the scriptures say, that the Lord is going to bring these different plagues, the famine. Okay? Now, your sword may, you know, protect you from, you know, thieves. May try to break in. You may be able to, you know, fire off some rounds. Okay? But here it is. Here, 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 here go a pack of lions, man. You know, you may be able to get some good shots off on those lions. You know, maybe. You know? But a lion, you know, charged up, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to run through that, okay? But let's just say you may be able to get some head shots in and may put those lions down. Let's just say that, okay? How is that gun going to protect you from famine? Okay, you can't eat your gun. How is that gun going to protect you from the missiles, man? You know, you're going to see a missile flying in the sky and you're going to just shoot at the missile? And that's supposed to uh, uh, protect you from the missile? That's why the scripture says, as if a man did flee from a lion in a bear met him or lean his hand upon a wall and a serpent bit him. Man, the Lord is going to have, the Lord is about to pour out the bag. Okay? The Lord is about to pour out the bag, man. And that little old gun ain't going to do nothing. Okay? The scripture say, um, Make no tarrying when turning to the Lord and put not off day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, man. So when you feel the safest, 
When you feel that you're protected, that's when the Lord's going to get you, man. It said, in thy security, in thy security, thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. Scriptures say that uh, there's no day or, or event that ever took place in history that's going to have nothing on what's to come, man. Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. For last, that day is great so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? How is the elect, Lord, what am I a part of that number? How is the elect going to be saved and delivered? By Yahweh shining angels, man. Okay, uh, Isaiah, uh, matter of fact, Isaiah 31. Isaiah 31 and 5, as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it and passing over he will preserve it, okay? So the Lord is going to deliver and preserve the elect from the danger, man. Not your damn gun, man. Okay, repent, the kingdom is at hand. Okay, time is running out. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashemi Yahweh Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Blessings and safety to the men, women, and children who put all of their faith and trust in Yahweh Hashemi Yahweh Shalom.